You're tuned into Art Goon Radio, brought to you by UTB Worldwide. Download our app, available in the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. It's just a lifestyle. Don't trip. I'm getting that iPhone 14. I all my I'm not. 11 is cool, but it be days where I post something I don't be confident about my shit. Cause I'm just thinking it be, you know, it'll hit. 12 is 12 is like when I had the 11. 12 is a, a serious upgrade. Selfie Man, camera still, and camera. I'm still on the nine, but I just use mine as an aesthetic. Yeah, I feel you feel me when the pictures of Granny. It's like I, I just treat it like people think it's just my aesthetic. Like, yeah. oh yeah, rich with the Granny pictures, Jordan, man. It's rock and roll too, type shit. That's why we're going. It's cool. We can keep going. I have my phone, but whose phone is better? Who? This is funny. Go <laughs> on the topic. Whose phone gonna take the picture? You got the best or better phone, right? Mine. He like, right. yeah, no, for sure, me. <laughs> it's the man with the plan. I think it's straight. I ain't Clark Kent, but some of the ladies do call me Superman. It's your boy, Big Cali. Stream Hefner, Rare Argoon, Mister. I'm in the studio more than these rappers. Talk your shit. <laughs> <laughs> Big dog, <laughs> loudest bark in the park. Woo! <laughs> Two step chuddy. <laughs> That's all I got for right now. <laughs> I love it, man. This is our good radio, man. Uh, Pastor Green is uh flying the friendly skies. Hey, man, he did. You know, Touchdown. making sure, making sure that sun hits hits that hits that that hair the right way. Touchdown, baby. Is he wearing a perm right now? Nah, <laughs> that perm would have been out in like thirty minutes. <laughs> in Montego Bay, bro, the perm would have been out, bro. Right? Yeah, you can't, you can't do that. You can't do that in the islands. You if can't you have the perm in Jamaica, that's nah. hardcore. Uh-uh. I just want the, I want I want Pastor Green with a perm in the in the water with a, with a uh what's what's that beer? What's the uh, shit? Red stripe. Red stripe. I heard that they don't fuck with red stripe out there like that though. Really? It's like Foster's in uh Australia. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like the same thing. Like they don't really fuck with it. It's like what another. It's another beer out there. Um, yeah. Hey, I'm sorry. That was the craziest retail ever. <laughs> that sounded like. No, that's because my phone tweaked. That shit just went from low to high like oh, crazy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no sure. Anyway, this is Argo Radio, man. Yeah, man. Coming at you with another one. Mm-hmm. We got a special guest today. Your man. This man. First off, this is the uh one of our good homies. Yeah. One of one of my best friends out here, one of my Facts. niggas. Facts. LA native. Facts. Yep. Great writer. Facts. Producer. Facts. Songwriter. Yep. Artist. Yep. And music. I guess and I when I, I say I'm list. in the studio more than these rappers, I'm talking to like 99% of the niggas. He's in the one percent that Talk I your shit. I can't say that I'm in the studio more than this nigga right here. I can't. If there's 24 hours in a day, Rich is in the studio 16 minimum. <laughs> sure. Some of that involves sleep. Which is off of just just because he needs a little more energy to record the next one. That's For sure. This is motherfucking Richard Wright, man. Yeah. Welcome to our good radio play. What's good? What's good? How you my doing, dude? G? What's yeah. good, man? Love y'all, man. You know what it is, man. We here feeling good, feeling great as usual, man. Yeah. Man, it, it was a vibe today, man. Like it was a hell of a day today, but I'm happy to be with y'all. I can't front, man. What was you on today? What were you doing? Bro, I, I was gonna ask. I didn't want to know. I was gonna see how we running this, but yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, see how we running this. Look. Yeah. I'm gonna come clean. So I'm now, you know, studio manager here at Knock House oh. in LA. Bring the terminology. Hey, congrats. Out. Yeah, you know, man. we out here. Congrats. So, you know, audio clap. We hear audio clap. Shh. You know what this is. But now, shout out Knock House for giving me my opportunity. You know, we're gonna get it in. We want mm-hmm. to make this the most dopest studio in Los Angeles, period. Mm-hmm. You know what it is. So, but nah, and everybody wants to be the boss until it's time to be the boss. Until it's time to boss up. Talk your shit. Hey, man. But you know how good that sounds? You know how hard that is yeah, in real life? Man. Niggas don't understand that being a boss difficult. comes with a lot of responsibility, man. A it whole sounds bunch good. Of it, man. Sounds good, looks good, but it's a lot of responsibility being the boss. You got to make a lot of decisions. You got to make a lot of correct decisions mm-hmm. if you're going to be a good boss, too. That's a fact. So now, Big C. You moving your way up the little studio ladder, huh, Damn, my brother? Real, real, real okay. slowly, you know, God's good. Yeah, I'm man. just a vessel. Nigga about to be Quincy Jones in a second. Huh? Hey, <laughs> hey, turn hey. that up, turn that hey. down. He yeah, said what it. What are you doing? He said it. Uh-uh. <laughs> hey, <It's laughs> not it. <laughs> nah, but honestly, Reem, like I, w- I've been thinking about it today, man. I, I understand how you keep your patience a little bit now. Uh huh. I realize the reason I flipped out so much back in the day. Yeah. It's because I really didn't believe. Yeah. Now, let me explain. It's a good realization. When you really believe, yeah. you don't have time to flip out. 
Because yeah. it has to work because yeah. you really believe. Yeah. It's when you don't believe, that's when you be like, man, what the fuck? I really don't believe and this is happening. Like, yeah. you're more mad that you really don't believe. Yeah. So I'm starting to realize you can't be flipping out because you're dealing with too many humans. Yeah. Even if it's five people, yeah, 10 you. people, 20, 30, 40, 50, I understand. Yeah. So all my former bosses, I'm sorry. Hey, man. I understand. I get what kind of employee I probably was. I was probably that nigga that used to talk shit in the middle of the meeting when you're hey. just trying to make a point. I'm glad, I'm glad you're in the waiting room now for for, for being a boss, my nigga. In the waiting room. <laughs> yeah. We can't we can't just put you in there yet, but you're in the waiting room. I nigga. get it, yeah. but nah, but I understand. But honestly, I know this is the time in my life where it's like put up or shut up. Yeah, you know. Oh, for sure. It's just like coaching, bro. Literally, like imagine like right if you offered anybody the job, but like coaching the Lakers or something right now, yeah. right? You're like, everybody gonna take the job when you see like the three, five, 20 mil, whatever. But yeah. then it's like, all right, when you actually get in here and you gotta deal with this person who making 30 mil and this person who done done something and this person, everybody feel like they done done something to where they like, yep. who is you to talk to me? Like, damn near, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's That's different Facts. kind of stress, bro. That's why Javon Howard said, hell no, nah, I'm cool at Michigan. I, I don't want it. Facts. Hey, <laughs> he didn't did even, he he didn't even want to, nah, he didn't want to take, he wouldn't even take the interview. Some he of said, it I'm be cool. stress. Yeah. Some of it be stress. Like, Mark yeah. Jackson might not want to coach the Lakers. You I feel me? Yeah, that's I a wouldn't. lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, and you know what though? Watching the Winning Time, shout out the Winning Time on HBO. Watching Doctor Bus, yeah, his story, my nigga, he couldn't stress, bro, because everything was right, had to work. Yeah, that's fair. And he hit, but that was the most riskiest season ever. But you see, even with like present times, like Frank Vogel, coached for two years, two seasons, yeah, yep. won a ship, and they still fired him. He won a ship. And they let him go. Because they, they went to they, shipping they over a decade. Much, they pretty much threw it all on, bro. Yeah, like, hey, get out, out of here, bro. Up. I didn't even put it together yeah, like you're that. You're only here two years. Like, no matter how you feel about him three. or his coaching, was it three? It could have been three. Let's say two to three. Let's two say to two three, three. still, that's short. Below five. You got one ring in three years. You did it. Yeah. You did yeah, something. Really? Honestly, keep it 100. Doc Rivers been living off of... Off the Boston one. So are we yeah, talking about it? Are we talking about it? And we minute. love Doc. And he always wants to get brought up in the culture, right, but he won one with the Celtics that's and he blew it every ago. other time. Yeah, that's a long time ago, bro. His stats are crazy. Yeah, man. You know, there's just a lot of pressure in those moments, man. You see that shit. It is no, but that's the point. Who am I to judge, bro? Yeah. Who you knows? See, I'm not in the like, I'm not in the locker rooms with these niggas. Yeah. See, and imagine sometimes, you know, as a coach, like you might hate to say it and you can't say it to be PC, but yeah. literally you like, hey man, I told him what to do. I'm not, I'm not the one shooting the <laughs> basketball. Like, <laughs> At the end of the day, nigga. That's deep. When it I gets to that point, you like, no, I told him to pick and roll and curl, but guess what? Like, he yeah. didn't want to do it. The nigga threw it out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> Blew it. What you want me to do, nigga? Like, yeah. Blew it. If it was me shooting it, maybe. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't have done what he did. I know that much. <laughs> that's it. But that's it. When you're on that level, though, that's the craziest part. It's like, it's this, the the line is so fine. It is. It's very fine. Where it's like, you can literally get fired, bro. You just got to ship. <laughs> the year before, hate, you can get fired. I would hate to work for any company, break the company record, be the top salesman, and then the next year, just because they the sales dipped because of COVID, they yeah. fired me. You just had a whatever year. A whatever it wasn't year. Not even because of COVID. I don't want to say that's a little extreme. I wouldn't say like, it was trash, reason. but it was whatever. It was a whatever year, yeah. yeah, and you get fired. Yeah. That's dark. That's dark. It is. It's very dark. <clears throat> a lot of niggas can't do that, man. Hey, man. That's why you got to stay in your lane, my nigga. Hey, man. Frank Vogel, I get it. Um, but we need Mark Jackson. And we need him. See, I feel like I would have been straight with Frank Vogel, but now that he's going, yeah. I'll take Mark. But I really honestly don't want to put bro through that stress. Like, yeah, I don't. You feel me? He, have, bro, he got the power of God. He, he still praying. got a nice lineup. <laughs> like, nah, bro, <laughs> he can lose all it, his bro. hair, man. He ready. He said like, he still got a nice lineup. <laughs> I, it's it's hard. When you're in that position to like, you have to make them... Obama. You have to make them a playoff <laughs> contender. Loki, they have to go to Western Conference Finals. Because that's what Lakers fans want. Minimum, bro. Yeah. They need that. I, I don't want that for Mark. Like, also, if you listen to what they said, bro, it's like five people who making decisions there. It's Kurt Rambis. Yeah. It's Kurt Rambis' girl. Yeah. It's Phil Jackson. Now. It's Jeannie Buss. Yeah. It's like, you know on. what I mean? That's yeah. a lot of people. Rob Palenka. Yeah. Rob Palenka. You trying to coach with like six people? Tell Imagine me, me yeah. in the group chat on the low. <laughs> yeah. Magic in the group Magic chat. Magic in the group chat on the low. For sure. Or at least he a bunch. He ain't saying shit. Yeah, but he's in there. Magic's in there. He's in there on the low. 
A brunch at the least. Yeah, for he, sure. he does do a, a little company dinner. He's there. Yeah. Jerry West is probably there on the low. What I hope for, <laughs> like, people in those positions, I hope that, uh, I hope that, like, the people that are really making decisions aren't on Twitter and watching these uh, sports shows a lot. You know, you know how annoying it would be dealing with a boss that's like that. Like, yeah. man, so and so said, <laughs> Skip Bayless said today that this is this is the reason why we I'll losing. So I'd be like, fuck, bro. Skip Bayless said we we didn't do this. So what's yeah. going on? Why niggas ain't fucking with us? I know it's some some GMs and like managers that I like that though. You know what I'm saying? Taking right. the taking the outside critique to the next level. It gets to you. It's a lot of social media and everything. Yeah. That's life, though. I have all that shit muted. Fuck it, nigga. Hey. You check too big for to be paying attention to social media. Hey, bro, I'm starting to realize, bro, social media is tight, but man, I don't know. I ain't hit yet on social media. I need the big, the big hit first, then I'll have an opinion about social media. Changes every day, my nigga. It's too combustible. You use it I how you need to use it. One million it. followers. They got one million followers, but they get ten thousand likes. I don't get it. I get it. It's called fake followers. Yeah, it's called Damn. it's called pay to play. You feel me? Niggas yeah. be faking to the milli? Yeah, bro. man. You get you. I'll tell you this. Come if you on, get 50,000 fake followers, most likely people who see your page and be like, man, he's really doing something. Yeah. You got 50,000 uh, followers. That's what they're yeah. on. Man, like, yeah. it just, it interests people. You feel it, me? The numbers a, is um, like, that's really the clout token right now. That's like an NFT token damn near. Yeah. Like. It was a... Um, clout token, NFT token. That makes sense. A law, it was a, a lawsuit out, I think with the state of New York with... I think Instagram and Twitter because they had so many, it was so many people that basically pay for followers. But Twitter was just basically like, if we turned in everybody, we'd be turning in the whole internet. Which this is Damn. politicians. This is, this is like social media gurus. This is public speakers. This is athletes. This is entertainers. Like we would be turning in everybody. We can't do that. That's crazy. So, so the, so the example I that they it. had, I believe th there was this girl who was an influencer. And she had like four million followers, and this company did a collab with her. And oh, I remember you told me yeah, about that. Yeah, she yeah. couldn't sell. She couldn't six sell. shirts. What? She couldn't sell six shirts, my nigga. And she had nah, to come out with a. She had to come out with a statement this. saying like, "Yeah, man, I, I fucked that up. I'm sorry." How this many followers she had? It was like three or four million. That's dark. I was like, bro, Yo. I do that before I even posted the the, the shit live. Before I, I even sell put six it on Twitter. On the corner. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you walk down the street and do that. Six that, shirts? Four yeah, milli? Yeah, man. It's sad. Hey, man. So you know people is paying to play, my nigga, but it only... Influence is like the best currency when you got people what that just influence? fuck with you. People that just fuck with you. Influence is just the vibe of it. It's really the whole, like, look, the feel of it, and yeah. just the belief. This it's kind of like what the dollar is. You feel me? Like, how they be like, if people didn't believe in the dollar, what would it be worth? That's like... Nothing. That's clout and yeah. everything. Like, when a person sees you and they're like... Like, you know how they always say, like, um, rich people pay for less? Right. And even, like, yeah. people who don't really got no money, like, yep. they'll give, like, Jay-Z a free meal somewhere yep. because he Jay-Z. And they know, like, also Makes with Jay-Z, when people see him eating here, that's going to be another 2,000, 5,000 people that want to eat Straight here now up. because Jay-Z has eaten here. I'm giving him the free meal. Yeah. For sure. Yep. Free wine, free all of that. Isn't yeah. it funny, even the richer and more powerful you are, you stop paying for shit anyway, bro? Yeah, I mean, that's where all the work comes from, though. Yeah. That's you why everybody wants to be rich, though, bro. Yeah. It, sound, it sounds cool or whatever, but it's like, it takes a lot of work. Most, a lot of, some motherfuckers, I'm not going to say a lot. Some motherfuckers got lucky. Some motherfuckers got handed shit out, you know, but like, mostly everybody had to work when they get to get the real bag. Like, right. damn near everybody. 90% of bag. people, bro. Because hey. even like, to be real, meals and like four meals, to me, it's a lot, but it's not really a lot in today's time. Like, nah, not you in gotta California. be twenty mil up. You gotta yeah. be thirty mil, like Minimum. really, like mm -hmm. to really, really be like I'm changing some shit and I can yeah. move. Yeah, that's doing it, doing it. Yeah, because if you if you got four and then you spend two, you like. Ooh. <laughs> if, you got money a meal, <laughs> if you got a mill, you not buying no uh, crazy ass house. If you house got a mill, you're living. How about this? If you have a million dollars in Los Angeles, you're living comfortable. You're living comfortable. Yeah, that's it. Comfortable. Yeah, comfortable. That's not it. even like on. Like yeah. you're just like nah, you're not it. killing you the game. Eat, you, nah. you, you eat what you want. You might go buy some shoes every now and then, uh, and that's about it. Like you might go on a trip crazy. every now and then. No, but you're paying rent. 
Yeah. Your your whip and, better be possibly, get, very possibly still working a job. Hard yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, just just in case like some weird shit happen. Oh me. I got a little yeah. backup. <laughs> like fuck it. <laughs> hey, there's millionaires that probably do like side shit. Like DoorDash. For lift. sure. Hey man, just why not? It. Like fuck it. If you I know would. how much your bills cost and you can make like let's say like 40 bands, like my bills is 40 bands, I can make 40 bands doing this. I might as well just keep my money. Some people think like that. I'm copping a Tesla and I'm going up. Yeah, going up. I'm hey, copping me too. a Tesla, me and too. I'm doing Tesla. every form of of delivery and in the Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> <all over. laughs> that's so lit. Uh, that's lit. I need that, man. But anyway, yeah, Rich, how you been these past couple of days, play? Man, I've been good, man. Just the same thing: recording, playing video games, watching incredible movies, pretty much. That's Word. it. Yeah. What? What? Give me a the last couple movies you've been watching. For sure that um everything everywhere all at once movies amazing everybody I've heard of that yeah, he told me about that yeah you told us time. about that Bananas. break that down break give us the short synopsis for the people so basically it's just no a spoilers. movie yeah no spoilers but it's basically a movie about multiverses as you can hear probably from the title and then like a mixture though of like real life basically like it takes like real life and it turns it into some like pretty wacky and crazy I would say like like a little bit of like Scott Pilgrim versus the world. I don't know okay. if you've seen that movie. Nah. Nah. Uh, hey, <laughs> Rich, incredible. that's why we love you. That's why you're our brother. You tapped into that shit. You tapped into the shit we need to know, Incredible bro. movie, too, though. But not to get off subject. So, yeah, it's like multiverses, but it's about regular life and pretty much, like, meaning in life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even appreciating the small things and realizing how even the simplest thing, it could be, like, worth nothing to somebody, but really important to somebody else, basically. Damn. Like, mm -hmm. you feel me? Like, yo, a killer to you, damn near, it, it could be somebody that's, like, a loved one to me, basically. Or yeah. somebody, like, you know, vice yeah. versa, even, basically. So it's it's pretty deep, but it's also full of just action and hella craziness and hella multiverse jumping, and it's bananas, bro. That's lit. I love it. Bananas. Definitely gonna watch that. I've been watching, like, stand-up. <laughs> Stand up is fire, I, I, I feel like I've been slipping, bro. You've been watching you watch all the Cat Williams? No. I heard oh, okay. people talking about it today on the internet. It was cool. I'm not going, you know. Ah, oh, Rich, you be on some shit, though. You don't be fucking with, like, you fuck with the tight shit, but you be rating niggas I hard. do, I do. I you be on niggas lie. bumper, bro. Yeah. How you feel about Kevin Hart? I think comedy. Kevin, see, this is Not him a person. The to me, that's stylistic. Like, yeah. I just don't like his style of comedy. He's a I good believe. comedian. Yeah. He's obviously one of the greatest comedians because of the numbers. Yeah. I just don't really care for that style of comedy, I could say. I What's your that. more favorite style of comedy? I like Dave Chappelle. I like, like, hella intelligent, inquisitive, you like but George still, Carlin? like, ignorant. I do like George Carlin. Mm -hmm. I've been listening to George Carlin more. He's very racist, but it's very funny. It's very <laughs> funny. I'm sorry. It's very you, racist. I mean, you got to teeter that line funny. as a comedian. Like you got to be a little bit I think racist, comedians I think. are the ones who get that pass. Yeah, like, every, every, yeah, everybody knows that. It sounds dark, but yeah. niggas got to be real. If it's funny, if it's legit funny... I give the pass. And he's not pandering. Yeah. Like, he's just being him. Yeah. Like, fuck it. One of my favorites is Corey Holcomb. He's extra. Wow. Yeah. He's extra. Niggas, Corey Holcomb. He's be, like, real. performing, like, calling motherfuckers bitches and doing all kind of wild shit. But he'll do it at Spellman. He's very <laughs> extra. Like, he'll do that at all female really? school. Like, he just, he, he dives right in. Yeah. <laughs> he's, like, the most fearless comedian I ever, like, heard. He don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck. He'll call your mom a bitch. Literally. But like do it in the story and it's kind of funny. So you kind of don't want to laugh, but you have to it's laugh. It's dark, but it. you got it, but it's yeah. real. It's dark, but it's real. It's yeah, but don't act like you won't get fucked back in 74. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Hey, but comedians get that pass. Maybe. I agree. Yeah. There's got to be somebody that gets it. Everybody's got to be censored and shit like that. Somebody got to get you the saw pass. saw what happened with Dejan Pro. He got tackled. Hey, oh man. yeah, that, was, man, that was something else. I yeah. don't know. Bro is a SoundCloud rapper and shit. Yeah, yeah. he got his ass whooped. He's trying to get that clout. He got beat on for sure. Oh, I hate to get beat up by Busta Rhymes and Jamie Foxx in the same night. I that, heard that would was be fake. trash. I believe it. <laughs> I heard that part of it was fake. I want all that. <laughs> I mean, Busta oh, Rhymes I believe is Jamie Foxx is talking so. about. It's, it's it's a, Busta Rhymes. Busta Rhymes is throwing somebody out. Want, Busta Rhymes is big as hell yeah. now. I feel like KRS One was there. KRS One was there. You think? He might have been. I will destroy you. It's <laughs> <laughs> sorry. KRS One. You have any KRS One stories? Only yeah, the same story everybody got. KRS One <laughs> on the street trying to get you to um join the join hip hop. The hip -hop, hip -hop, -hop. <laughs> <laughs> 
Same story all around the world, man. <laughs> <laughs> was it Lamert? He's down for the movement. No, it bro. wasn't in Lamert, actually. It was like on Adams yeah. and La Brea, damn near. It was like at That's a little hip hop festival, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I've literally heard that story like eight times. I have. Yeah, I feel like, like Fayol told me the same story. Fayol's you know the other most popular story in LA? What? Brian, a woman seeing Brian Pupper on the train. And <laughs> him, <laughs> <laughs> him trying to holler at her. I've heard that so many times, bro. I've heard from my like sister's age, I hear Suge Knight sightings and Brian Pupper stories. Yeah, Suge Knight, when he was out, like all my older sisters and aunties, he's like, yeah, we seen Suge Knight at the club. Everybody was kind of scared, but we were like, fuck it. I seen Suge Knight back to back days. Really? That's scary. What? That's very That's What spooky. was your Suge Knight story? Hey, man. <laughs> That's spooky. And it's funny because this is right when I turned 21. So I'm in Vegas for my fashion merchandising class. Yes, I'm glad it's Vegas. Yeah. It just makes I'm, it darker. You know what I'm saying? I'm a story. But I'm out there. Everybody in my classes is all like gay dudes and women. So I'm like the only straight black dude out there. So I'm going out to the club with them. I'm walking through Caesar's Palace. I'm like, it's like big figure smoking a cigar. You can see the cigar smoke from far. Inside? Yeah, inside. We're in Caesar's Palace. Okay. He got like four Johns around him. <laughs> <laughs> Just smoke, walking through Caesar's Palace, smoking a cigar. I'm like, that's shook. I was like, oh, shit. So Jers and Steve-O and Grant were coming <laughs> out. Shout out Steve-O and Grant. They're coming out on the... Like that Friday, I, that was like a Tuesday when I went. Yeah. I told him this shit. They was like, Reem, come on, bro. You seen Suge just walking through the casino smoking a cigar. I was like, bro, I seen this nigga, my nigga. I know it's, you know when you see Suge night. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we, went to the, we went to the club that Friday. Yeah. Wait, was it Thursday and Friday or Wednesday and Friday? Nonetheless. We walk up to the bar. This nigga Suge's there smoking a cigar with three bitches around him. Again. <laughs> Different girls? <laughs> yeah. Yes! <laughs> and the story gets And my bad. nigga was like, you wasn't lying, my nigga. <laughs> oh my I was like, I told you, bro. Why would I lie about that, my nigga? But that, hey, man, it was like, hey, I, I, didn't, I didn't feel all the way safe him being there. Yeah. But, you know, it was very rare seeing him. Vegas know? is a hot place for bro, too. Yeah. He be out there. He be out in Vegas, yeah. bro. His life. Crashing lighter. and crashing. Yeah. Yeah. Sliding. Shaking and baking. Shaking. <laughs> <laughs> he been out there doing his thing for, for a while. He's yeah. like 30 years deep into Vegas alone. And I seen him, yeah. my nigga. Fresh 21. Reem seen it. Wait, what kind of... Did he have on an all red fit? I was going to yep. ask that. Oh, all man. red. Still the legend up. is real, all red, man. But oh, up. my God. No homo. Did he have a cologne scent? I'm just curious. Was nah, there any I cologne? didn't even get that close to bro. Close? Yeah, it was I probably wonder, like. I wonder if he was like on some brute. I want to say like a cigar. You know, like a cool 15 it's feet. Tibiaki. You know, he wore cool water. <laughs> he might, yeah, he might wear like some brute. Good you brute. Know what I'm yeah, the car noir. Hey, but the fact that the wow. fact that you meet that uh, the standard of like aesthetically, like. I see you. you got on a red That's button dark. and you have a you yeah, have a cigar. cigar. Red button up cigar, yeah. light skin, big, sugar night. He didn't have like a, a random suit. color sweatsuit or something. Like nah, it was like, red. this is this is you, bro. It has to be you, my nigga. I Gotta know be. it. Oh, big shit. Have you ever seen OJ? No. I actually saw OJ's house. This is gonna be a, a crazy one, but like when I was leaving, like what was it elementary one day? I basically I was riding by my my elementary was right around the corner from Bro House, mm. so I seen it. I in rolled Brentwood? by, yeah, in Brentwood. I went to Brentwood Elementary, so I rolled by on the day when Bro's like shit was all taped up and shit. Damn. And then I went Damn. home. And then I went. No home. way, no way, bro. Oh, you man. were there. You were there oh, with like God. the. Cause I was bused from the inner city, you feel me, all the way from South Central, all the way to like Brentwood. Yeah. So we was leaving on a bus, literally, and I remember seeing the house all taped up, hella cops. That's why I really noticed it, cause it was like dumbass police. Yeah. And then I got home, and my mom watching it. You feel me? My yeah. people's is watching it on TV. So I'm like, oh, that's the shit I seen on the yeah. bus. Like everything's just crazy. clicking for you, like yeah, what the fuck? like I didn't really give a fuck about OJ at the time, but yeah, I mean, yeah. Neither. I didn't understand at the time. Yeah, it really. wasn't until I watched the uh, doc. People vs. OJ? Yeah, and the People vs. OJ with Q. Yeah. That's just deep. I ain't black. I'm OJ. I'm That's like, just Whoa. deep. Hey, deep. Juice. Hey, Q hasn't been the same since he played the Juice, bro. Niggas was living too wild, bro. It's hard. <laughs> Maybe a little before that. He I ain't gonna lie. He baby. <laughs> like, I'm not even gonna repeat it. He said it, though. Watch the video of Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba Gooding Jr. Drunk in the club. It's like videos of him with a KFC bucket on. <laughs> I should have oh I should have played a black man, but he did it. 
Hey, man, when you make the decision, you have to own up to it's it. Some, well, who is my man who played Tupac in um in the Biggie movie? Uh, my nigga, um... Papa Doc? Yeah, Papa yeah. Doc. But, uh, what's his Mackie? name? Anthony Mackie. Anthony Mackie. Mackie. Yeah. He's the, uh, what's the Marvel character? The Falcon? Yes. Captain America. Oh, he is Captain America yeah, right Captain now. Captain America Yes, now. he is, what? technically. You didn't watch Endgame. It's real comic book stuff. Okay. Don't worry, Yeah, man. yeah, he is Captain don't, America. Don't worry. He's like, what? I don't get it. That's not it. That's it's not real right. comic book things, though. You don't got to be Break annoyed. it down. It's just, I mean, it's simple. He just becomes Captain America and the Falcon at the same time, pretty much, in the comic. It's, it's real. They just speed through it, you know, in the movies. They okay. can't. Can't take their time. Like that just that. sounded weird. <laughs> Spoiler: Black Captain America is like, no, I Yo, want I, I want some characters to be white at the end of the day. You know what I'm <laughs> is that how you feel? I do feel that honestly. I'm I will say yeah, this: I'm that. not for like, hey, let's just make them black to make black yeah, people happy. I don't care like, about that. I would rather have Superman just be white forever. Yeah, like, for real. That's him. I want James like, Bond to be white. I do too. I don't want him to be I black. Do. You know what, Idris Elba? No, I don't want the little. <laughs> I like Idris Elba though, black. but I was just like, let me see. Yeah, that's Papa Dot. That's Captain America. That that's nigga. it. See, man, that's just swag. He's American that's, that's Falcon. He got the, he got the yeah. edge up. That's a fit. For he sure. the American that's Falcon. A, I feel you. I hate the American Falcon. That's too <laughs> American, bro. Hey, man, that's wild. Hey, did that movie come out during Trump era? May it was a show, wasn't it? No, it, it, it might have. No, but it wasn't that revealed in the End Game, right? Nah, not really. He gave him the shield. I think at the end of the movie, didn't he? Yeah, or some shit like that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So it was so it was during Biden year or Trump year. I'm trying to make a point here. This is a black and it was Biden year. It was filmed in the Trump year. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan. So like I was saying, <laughs> Damn. I was with you. bringing out them facts. I don't know. I think I, it was just like they wanted to make us happy. Possibly, Makes man. Sense. That you is know, the thing. Yeah. You know, Black Panther is gone. They about to make another Black Panther. Yeah, but I'm fine with that. You can't change that into nothing. You can't do Who's nothing crazy with that. I feel you. They, they just he just like, I think the lowest. He just Elba? No, 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 no. Slow down, guys. <laughs> slow down, fellas. And so he's James Bond. He got to be Black Panther. <laughs> nah, too. He slow down. Fuck it. Let's get it. Fuck it. Nah, no James Bond or Black Panther for either cell bomb. Why well, you know what, James? I like James. Well, I'm not even into James Bond like that. Y'all actually watch James Bond. I've you watch James Bond? I've, I've seen every single one. He's just a smooth dude, bro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, how could you not? Yeah, bro. You didn't You didn't know about James Bond until Golden Knight came out, huh? Shut up. You one of them niggas. You know, <laughs> know what's crazy? I know you one of them niggas. I missed the whole Sean Connery. Yeah. Or was it a uh, Sean Connery? Roger Moore, Sean Connery. Come on, yeah. man. Y'all want to know a crazy story, though? So <laughs> I love it, Rachel. My brother, my brother was a manager, right? Shout out my brother, Adam. Shout Actually, he took me to the screening for um, um, Tomorrow Never Dies. Okay. Right? Oh, sure. yeah. At the time, specifically back then, I didn't care about James Bond. Mm -hmm. So I got there. My brother is like in there. He's like, man, you want to meet Pierce Brosnan? I'm a douchebag ass little kid. I'm like, no. Like, <laughs> I don't know who that nah, is. I'm good, like, man. That's a nigga from uh, Miss Delphi. Miss Delphi, exactly. right? That's that nigga. Exactly. For sure. That's all I know him from. Exactly. Yeah. So I get bro autograph and shit. I meet him. It's whatever. I'm really not interested. I see Halle Berry across the room. Oh, Halle sure. Berry shining like a, a light, like a star in the night. Like crazy. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Radiant. Bananas. I'm like, I got to meet her. Radiant? Yeah. Bananas. It's, it's everything. My She's brother, that bad? She was glowing, bro. Short hair, Holly? Promise you. Yeah. 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 She was glowing. You this can see her from across the room. Ball or after Monsters Ball? Pre-Monsters Ball, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. It's like, that's like all kind of the same time, low key. I don't Monsters know. Monsters Ball was, was like 2000-ish. Yeah, that's when Tomorrow Never Dies was. Because GoldenEye's like 98. Wait, but with Swordfish, never... Swordfish was the first reveal, right? The yeah, first... Swordfish was Possibly. the first reveal. And then yeah. it went Monsters Ball where it was full everything. And shout out Billy Bob. Shout out art. Billy Bob, man. <laughs> that was art. Hey, he, hey, she won an Oscar. We're not going to bring up the Oscar, but she won one. It is what it is. Out of all the but movies if, she's ever if done. You're, if you're a Bond girl, though, I like the selection of those women. I like how they always I look agree. different. Yeah. You know, the one that he wants always looks different. It's black ones, white ones, Russian ones, Good Mexican point. ones. Good point. It's never like white girl. They are yeah, always on the curve man. with that as far as like, you know, yeah. really And this back even in the them. 70s, they were even more exclusive yeah, too. My, was... dad used, my dad used to watch all that shit. Hell yeah, man. That's what I'm saying. If you would have kicked it with my pops back in the day, he would have loved, he would have watched James Bond movies with Jordan Knight, Cook Gumbo. Hell yeah. Watch Fraser. Yep. Fraser. Yeah. Fraser. Fraser. <laughs> yeah. I can't do Fraser, man. I love Fraser. 
I don't love Frazier. I love I had to start paying. As soon as I start paying rent, I, I love, love Frazier. too, man. How about this? <laughs> Five months into me paying rent, I start loving Frazier. It started all making sense to me. So do y'all like mass and like... No. Damn. You smoking <laughs> Hell no. This nigga rich. Yeah. See, you got to know how rich his comedy man. is. Yo, okay. I ain't doing mass. Y'all niggas watch Golden Girl? Golden Girls is fire. Golden Girls is fire. I love R. Lucy R. was fire too. Don't you say Golden Girls is fire and say Frazier's not. Come on, not. bro. It's just different. Honestly, I ain't going to lie. I, I need to give it a new chance. Give it a new chance. I need to give it a new chance. When, at that age, yes. I couldn't process it. I wasn't Ready for I it, guarantee possibly. you, you'll like it if you watch it. This this rich right right. I'm gonna now. go back. Guarantee. I might make that. I watched. YouTube. I watched. You never the, watched Frasier like as an adult. I watched it, bro. But it's just like I think my distaste for Frasier it in the past Crane. already just. Yo, like, you're a thinker too. Yeah. It's a real He'll like cerebral it. show. Yeah. I didn't understand it when I was younger, and then when it, they they uh they had it on Netflix for like and three Frasier's months. Frasier's a real play, a low key. Mm. And I watched every up. episode. I was like, this is a great show. I get why. He's a great actor. I get right. This is a great show. He I get is a why great, he's a great writer. writer. Yeah, Chelsea Chelsea Grammer Grammer. is a great writer. Yeah. And he's done a lot for a yeah. uh, black film. Oh yeah, he and definitely coaches. Has. A lot of people don't know. He hey did man, girl, shout out the girlfriends. Yeah. Girlfriends. It's a lot of shows. That's but Kelsey Grammer definitely is on the producer, the produce production wave. Excuse me. So how y'all feel about Soul Plane? <laughs> Good movie or bad movie or <laughs> mid movie? Is that is that better not be fucking Kelsey Grammer? That's Kelsey no. Grammer. No way. No way. Come on. No Kelsey. way. No way. No I'm way. pretty positive. Can we, do we need to Hold Bro, the, if that, hey, bro. I'm Hell looking it nah. up. Fuck that. No. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. You got it? You got it? Jordan? Hell You better no. not have nothing to do with that hey, movie. If he has anything to do, I don't care. He can have 5% credit. I'm going to be hot. <laughs> Say, hey, Kelsey man. Graver, Soul Play. I'm about to be hot. That's all we need. This is too great of a fact right now. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was about to be sick <laughs> if he had something to do with that movie. Good. Thank you. Hold on. Kelsey Grammer. You have, to, you have to do a nigga okay. search? Yeah. Two different, two different words? I'm going to do Kelsey, Kelsey Grammer. Kelsey Grammer so play. That's it. Kelsey Grammer production. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Kelsey, and we're going to see. Kelsey, I believe in you, bro. I know Gram you Net. That's what it's called. Okay, hold on. This is good. I believe you didn't do it. I just know in my heart, my nigga. I know. I feel like he did, though. I feel like I've heard this. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a feeling in my heart that I have, and he wasn't a part of that shit. All right, hold on. Kelsey Grammer Production Company. Soul Plane was the most sold. Bo- it was bo- bootleg it was, DVD. It is it, too good. I feel for like... sure a bootleg DVD movie. Bootleg DVD top ten. It is. So you're saying good movie. It's, that movie's horrible to me. I hate that <laughs> To movie. me, too. I, I just wanted <laughs> I to see what y'all movie. said. But yeah, hey, Kelsey Grammer did Think Like a Man, too. Hmm. It's pretty interesting. That is. I don't see Soul Plane. I see a bunch of Mickey. <laughs> Mickey? Yeah, he has like Disney. He has like a Disney movie in here that he just... <laughs> Let's go. Get, get, it get all. the money, That's baby. Fire. Get yeah. the money. I love it. All right, well, cool, man. Hey, Kelsey Grammer. He's worth off the 80 the hood, mil. Man. Yeah, man. Oh, shit. So he was a part. Of, yeah, he was on Cheers first. Yeah. And then it I told you that. Off I, don't like bro. I never watched either. Cheers, though. I told you I that. I skipped bro. the whole Cheers. Did you watch Cheers? I watched, I watched like, a, maybe like, I would say like 20 episodes total. Is it that good? Is it worth no, it? No, it's not worth it. You watched Taxi? Like it. Taxi's no. a good show. Do you remember bro. Taxi with Andy Taxi's Kaufman? Taxi's a good He's going to love Frazier. He's saying, yes, all, these, like, he's saying like all these shows are good. It's, it's all he's a setup because yeah. you know he's gonna fuck he's on Frazier. Hey, tap in all the Frazier lovers out there. You know what this is, man. Mm-hmm. Intellectual humor. Intellectual humor makes you think. If you like George Carlin, you like that, like, yeah. not George Carlin. That's like hardcore. That's a horrible example, but still, mm-hmm. intellectual humor. I like Seinfeld, so, you know. Seinfeld's Seinfeld, one of my favorite shows ever. Yeah, Seinfeld. I can watch Seinfeld else. right now. If you Same. put it on and I don't have to move and there's no commercials, I might knock out eight episodes on accident. <laughs> Shout out Netflix right now for having that on. Yeah, that's the, the past, only way. Past they, year and a half. Quick. Quick. They paid for like 30 mil for that joint or something. That's just fucking crazy. That's wild, bro. Jerry Seinfeld, they said Jerry Seinfeld is worth like 800 mil and he's never been in a, he's never acted in a movie. That's got the biggest one trick pony of all Wait, time. Wait, he doesn't have one movie? No, no nothing. That's been. Nothing. Wow, he did. Crazy. Even Larry David has a couple movies. Yeah, yeah. I watched one of them last week. Clear I history. Larry, is it good? It's pretty good. It's almost like a long episode of Curb. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But it's called Clear History. And can we just say that Curb's one of the top ten greatest shows of all times? I would say that. 
Cool. I, I could agree with that. Cool. Thank you. Just want to make sure we're on that page. I would have said that. Is could... Fresh Prince in there? No. <sighs> I, I love it. Niggas but no. let me give me two. <laughs> I love I it. But no. Give me fresh I prints. might give it a nine or a ten. Thank you. I, I, just thank I, you. I, I might just off just off the strength of it being funny. It's a little bit corny. The every single every single season is good. There's not too many shows that have that. I could agree with that. But yeah. see, I'm going to say this, like, even beyond what I watched. Like, first off, I didn't really super watch the Cosbys, but I'm going to have yeah. to put the Cosbys even over a show like Fresh Prince. As much as I hate to say it, like, I like, I, I like <laughs> as Fresh much as Prince I, yeah. more. <laughs> I, like, I like Different World more than the Cosbys. I'm I do, clean. too. Even. But it's the same vibe. But, but I get it. the Cosbys was generationally, like, great. Like, a mm -hmm. lot of people, that, that show, like, changed. I like Good Times lot. more than Cosbys. How about that? I'll say it. I like Come the on, man. more than good times. So man. niggas ain't gonna fuck they with me right now? Nah, fresh, nah, that was, bro. Well, the the sweaters Jefferson. was even better on, like... I'm gonna be real. Cosby. You know, the music, alone and and the, the music alone in the Cosby's was tight. Yeah. The yeah, whole aesthetic of the, of the shit is Can tight. we discuss Bill Cosby? Is he, is he, like, he's out? I don't know. We could discuss it, but, you know... It's a cultural... It's you know, a thing. I don't know. It's a thing. You tell me, my nigga. Anyway, Rich, how's have you been doing? <laughs> <laughs> what else has been going on? Man, just really just um, watching these animal shows, you feel me? Uh, looking at this environment shit, thinking about Teslas, you know? <laughs> I love this, this lineup of things. That's what's yeah. up, brother. Well, we appreciate you coming on the show. You know we just be talking shit. Hell yeah. Coming in, man. This is this is the spot. People always ask me, like, what's Argoon Radio? And it's kind of hard to explain because I'm like, well, it's a place where artists can just talk. Yeah. Like, it ain't a lot of platforms where artists can just literally talk. I'm not really trying to interview you, but yeah, I, you know, I want to know shit about you, so I'll ask yeah. you, but mostly it's just talking. Yeah. It ain't too many shows, so yeah. honestly, I appreciate you coming because you're, you're literally one of the embodiments, especially in LA. You you live that art goon life out here, man. Thank you, bro. Shows, I appreciate the it. The music, bro. Like, honestly, if niggas can go in there, niggas got to look it up, bro. I know you got some visuals coming soon, I know you got some shit. Definitely. Coming soon, bro. So where where can people hear your shit right now? Or like, um, you can just look at. Are you on Bandcamp still? Yeah, I'm on Bandcamp under Rich Wright. I'm on uh, Spotify under Rich Wright. Bro, that shit goes straight to you. Everything, Bandcamp. yeah. You feel me? You know the Bandcamp is a must if you want to just pay me outright. You feel <laughs> yeah. me? With no percentages taken, you can hit on Bandcamp. But also, you know, there's always obviously the Spotify, the SoundCloud, right. the Apple Music, which is very accessible to people. But really, the title. I know a lot of people don't got title, but title really pay the most. Really, that's really the I'm most. I'm on title. I'm a, I'm only on title. Oh, for hey, real? Yeah. You're Title's a real hard. dude. Title's man. hard. A real one. Yeah. I'm going to be real. I'm greedy. I have all of them. But oh, that's fine. It's on some DJ shit. I just don't want to miss out on a song. So, <laughs> And Tidal works with my Serato. Yeah. So that's, that's right. a great thing with that's, DJing. That's right. Once I heard it was, it paid the most. And then you showed me that little Serato jug when I first started DJing. Yeah. I was like, oh, nigga, there's no Speaking way I'll never have that this. ring. Yeah. What's up with the DJing, bro? What's up? I'm still, what, what's, I'm, I'm still DJ practicing. DJ set a time. I mean, what's up, bro? I'm still practicing. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what pocket I want to be in the most. I could DJ a lot of different genres of music. music with me. Yeah, I've, of course I want to be in house music. I want to be in every genre. You know, I, yeah. I want to do the nigga stripper club. Yeah. You know, I want to do, uh, like, the vibe. Like Niggas you know. don't know that this nigga Reem, Dream yeah. Hefner, Rare Argoon, definitely does DJ too. Oh, yeah. yeah he has yeah, it in him. Yeah. He's DJed four to five to six. He's put in hours. And that's why it's hard to yeah. complain to this nigga. Because yeah. he could DJ as long as me. And then he could paint afterwards. Then mm -hmm. he could build a 3D sculpture. <laughs> Thanks. That's all fun. And then be in a studio with me and CJ and argue about sports. This nigga does not say one lie right now. <laughs> hey, man. It's facts. It's one of those things that I've, I, uh, you know, always wanted to do. I bought a controller, like, for the uh, the Wish show. Oh, yeah? The, and it, but it was, like, the uh, one where you had to put CDs in. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I took it back. And I, was, I, just, I wasn't going to be the DJ for that. But I just wanted to learn. I like said, I was like, all right, we doing we doing the show. Yeah. This was 2010. I was like, fuck it, let me get my little shit. Fail with me to guitar center to get it. And it was like three months before they started having the, like the little the little ones one, that you could, the one that, yeah, the easy USB. I took drum. it back and then I just kind of like kept it on nice. Big C started DJing heavy, and then would you say like like 2018 maybe I started like. Yeah, you 2018, know, 2019. You you be catching a vibe, maybe playing dominoes or something. You're like, yeah. wait, come DJ. And I'm yep. like, all right. <laughs> but you're always good with the song selection. Yeah. Which I'm is, top. which is, I always tell people, I could teach you how to DJ in 10 minutes, but I can't make you good. Yeah, I'm talking Being good is like song selection, 
Yeah. Catching the vibe, learning it. Yeah. That's why I love, shout out my boy Philly Blunts, catching the groove. We were talking about the groove, the whole vibe, the whole last yeah. podcast. Because so. you have to be, to be a good DJ, to be the best DJ, you have to be selfless. Talk up. Oh, yeah. You have to be. Man, that's a quotable. Yeah. Like, you have to, when you, when you see, like, you play, like, a couple songs back to back, you're like, all right, I know what the vibe is. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm here now. I'm in here. You're I'm not gonna be like, pocket. no, fuck it, nigga. I'm about to do this. Like you just yep. you're selfless. So, so yeah. tell me this, as uh, two DJs, right? What is the barrier? What is the line of like you don't ask me for too many songs? Don't ask me for no more damn songs. Or this is not a function where I need you to ever ask me for no requests. Like you feel me? All right. The first, the first one, I answer the first because. I love both questions. So it's two different answers. <laughs> so the first one, what's the barrier of how many times you should ask a question, like a request? If there's money involved, you can go all night. I don't give a fuck. Facts. You're helping me out. You, I get you. You just want to hear what you hear. Cash out. Hear cash out. Easy, cool. I fuck with it. Mm -hmm. That's the easiest way. Every DJ will fuck with you. Everyone has their price. Don't insult the DJ. Yeah. Secondly, but if you give me slaps and it actually gets the party cracking. Yeah. Like, say if you give me two back to backs and those two songs actually gave me another 30 and 40, I'm like, oh, that's what they did one. Okay. And it works. You're good all night because I actually kind of trust you a little bit and it don't even seem annoying. That's a very big but, hypothetical, though. Hear me out. Okay. It happens, though. Yeah. But the moment you give me one and it's weak, I embarrass you. You're not going like, to give that many people that opportunity, basically. No, I don't. So to, do to you not like, even play? Right, let me you see what you want me to in? play. Who used to get in? I do a little bit. Ring. Yeah. <laughs> Ring. So do, tell yeah. me this then. Do you not, if they say, they come up in this is mid um, 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 trick daddy moment, you feel me? You going mm -hmm. crazy, all slides, people going bananas, and they say, hey, man, can you play Macarena? Are you like, no, we skipping that. We not even attempting that. I'm on. <laughs> oh, well, okay. They, nine times out of ten, I'm not playing it. But if that one out of ten I do play it has to be in a, in a high amount of money involved, okay, or prestige, okay. Because if my granny like, can still kind of go up though, I ain't gonna lie. After trick that, that's where how cool kinda... of a DJ you are. Yeah. So if my granny come up and say nigga, just be like, yo, here, Cali, here's two hundred. Play my granny. Nigga. Okay. Vroom. All right, my nigga, we about to take it back real quick. You know what this is? It's the Maka Rita. Everybody to the floor. Go, 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 go. I'm, I'm turning that bitch up to Maka Rita. Everybody's doing that shit in that bitch. And if everybody don't look in, I'll be like, shout out my nigga over there. He know he want that shit. Let's go. And he's going to be like, yeah. All right, yeah. I'm in there. I mean, yeah, they're so doing it. It has to be those extremes. Uh, 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 Any uh, other time, uh, I'm not playing it. And on the low, if a nigga starts giving me requests, I know I'm fucking up. I'm at that nah. point. Sorry. Nah, but see, bro. but also there's a level of like, drunkness. Drunk people be making yes. mad requests. Oh, drunk people are yes. like... Drunk people are like free spots and bingo. Like they're there, but you don't really worry about them. You know they're going to Literally. Gonna I heard a girl literally ask for... um, What was that Bone shit? Bone Thugs and Harmony. No, a girl asked for Whoopty like nine times in one Whoopty. night, bro. And then the oh, that's like, it. <laughs> I was yeah. like, yo, if I hear this right, song bro. one more time. Oh, <laughs> hey, right. I'm gonna be real. When I was at hey, the S, hey, when I was at hey, the S bar hey. in the murder, this girl came up. She was like, "Hey, yo, you really want to get it popping in here?" She was like, "You gotta play Bone Does in Harmony, Crossroads." <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. I'd have been like, bro. Bream, I can't make this up, bro. I, I would have cried. Bro, I say you're not serious. She's like, yeah, come on, man. That's my jam. See, that's oh, who man. you can't let DJ. Like, them is the Like, people. it's those yeah. moments where I'm like, I don't want to do it. Nah. But then it was one time, like, damn, I had to give her a shout out. I have to. It's real. Fuck that. No, I'll never give her this much credit. <laughs> nope. Damn. There's a girl who we know. Quickly taking back. <laughs> yeah. There's he a girl. Said, Fuck no, too. Not just like nah. Yeah, there's a girl who we know. She's she's cool with the homies, I guess. <laughs> and she always be at the function. And when she's there, she always be like, hey yo, Callie, I need you to play this, play this. And mm -hmm. she has like a seven out of ten batting average. Okay. Seven out of ten, they're slaps and they usually work. Yeah. She has some duds, though, as okay. a requester. Have you been in her car? She doesn't drive. So. Okay, if I haven't been in your car... <laughs> don't I give to, me the word. I feel like the car is the barometer. When I'm, in, <laughs> when I'm in your car with you, and you play some shit like, damn, I heard this in a minute. It's a slap. If you came up to me at a function, I'd be like, all right, I'll hear you out. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the uh-huh. starting the point. The car test does test. Because yeah. I ain't lie. I have some homegirls. Shout out Jetta. Jetta got the slaps in the whip. Okay. You go in her car, she gonna give me 10 songs I ain't never heard. Yeah. Yeah. I give her that. Yeah. Legit. Mm-hmm. There's a couple of the homegirls that literally got slaps. Yes. Some of the homegirls be listening to some... some actually, some I ain't gonna say no shit. weak shit. It be, it be whatever, but nah. Some people be listening to weak shit. But so what about this, though? What if somebody is like, they listen to folk music, you feel me? But it's the most fire folk music you done ever it's heard. It's just a whole different genre. You gotta email Are you me. still trusting them? Yeah, I don't wanna just still... go in raw today. <laughs> I want you to email me, and then I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna take yeah, a little dabble tomorrow. You just happen to be in a car. <laughs> oh, You just oh, happen yeah, to be yeah, in a whip. Yeah, yeah. They bumping if some folk fire? music. You're yeah, like, who is yeah, this? Like, y'all have to function. you like, yo, re-ride with me. You're like, all right, cool. You just hopping her whip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then are you yeah. still trusting them with the DJ request? That she come out the folk. Because that was folk music. I'll take a gander real quick. What if she come out? Quick ear. What if she come out to like 50 Cent Disco Inferno? That's lit. <laughs> like she turned like, <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Bro, I was on a Russian podcast and they had, <laughs> they, <laughs> their like biggest song in Russia is like this remix of 50 Cent and this Russian lady. Like mixed <laughs> together, so like blended together. It's That's find rare. me, it's, it's in the club. Remix with this like Russian song and it is the wildest song, bro. They, like, play, they only play it out there. It damn near sound like a Mexican like Fifty Cent remix. That's beautiful. <laughs> How do you even? Because there's no way that you can even predict some shit like that. That shit it's, like that just happens. Literally, when they told me that, like you can imagine, I'm sitting in the podcast, like it's yeah. in a in a whip while yeah. they podcast and this type shit. Okay. So he tells me that, like in the midst of it, he's like, "Yeah, we got this like Fifty Cent remix. Fifty Cent is." Humongous in Russia. I'm like, okay, <laughs> like, shout out Fifty, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Shake that ass, girl. Shake that ass, girl. Shake, 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 shake. Hey, shake that ass, girl. <laughs> and then some other shit. Hey. Crazy. Hey, you know what I predicted? I'm gonna say this on the podcast just so it's out there. I said DJ needs to make because when I start producing a little bit, you know, here and there, DJ Talk needs to make combine like. That EDM like Splash House like wave music with like hyphy, Ooh. because hyphy is the one music yeah. to where it's like everybody's all together and everybody's catching a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Someone needs to do like hit that vibe, like a, a big DJ. You heard it here first. He did that. I think he did some little Mac Dre feeling myself or something like that. It's just going crazy in the, in the EDM. Hey, you know that's coming in hot. You know yeah, that, it's right? coming in hot. I God. know, man. You might have wanted to save hey, that for yourself. Man. <laughs> I'm not good enough yet. Months. I need like two years for that. I would have to hold that for two. Hey, how about this? You can lead. You can lead a. You can lead a horse to a water, but you can't make a drink. And hey, I'm a, man. And I'm thirsty. So you know that's coming in hot. Hey, Jack. hello. Hey. Right? Hello. We live. We in album mode. Mm-hmm. Hey, my nigga Jane Cam already put that shit in the in the hard drive. I heard it. <laughs> All right. That's what I want to hear. Mac Dre, feeling myself. Yeah. Feeling myself flip. Hey, man. See? That's crazy. You know, Two another- types of music where people are just catching the vibe. You don't ever yeah. see nobody at like Splash House going up to a DJ like, you need to play this. Everybody's just there just that's in their mode. Love. I you didn't start saying? feeling that shit into Coachella looking. Yeah. Actually, no, no, no. It was like those Santa Barbara gigs. Hey, bro. Like, where look. I could play whatever like, I want, and they just loved it, though. Yeah. That's so fire. Like, they yeah. loved it. I was playing fucking like that. Uh, that um, Another night, another dream. Oh, and and another, another vision of love that seems to be true. Hey. I was playing all that shit, and it was going popping. That's the rocker. Niggas was jumping on fountains and shit. It was beautiful, splashing water. I love that, man. Just that immediate. It was like the beginning of Friends. You remember, like, you oh. know how friends play, and they just be out there just having a good time, so much of white people having fun. Yeah. That's how it was, bro. That's how it was. I'll be there for you. Hey. You're there for me, too. That's song. amazing, man. That's beautiful, bro. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Reem, how you been these last couple weeks, bro? Hey, man, I got my um, Nintendo Switch finally means me and me. Hey. All right, look. All right, I get it, bro. Y'all just gonna keep stunning on me with the Switch, bro. First off, y'all yeah, too old to be having that shit, all right? Yeah, bro, look. Never too thing. old. I'm going to talk my shit. For I'm going to talk, talk for the grown let people. Me, let me tell you something. <laughs> because when I'm on my iPad or my phone, it's usually business or work. I never take time away and just put those things away and get on something else. You can say you have games on your phone. Who gives a fuck? You know what I'm saying? You need to, like, just put that away for a little bit. Facts. And, you know, tap into something else. And then the art on it is beautiful. I need to hear the music. To some of this it's shit, it. like the scores, just ideas for shit, is fun. Bro. I know the music cracking. And then I'm on Mario. The government puts a ban on the fish that McDonald's can fish. 
because they overfish fish for the filet of fish. That's why it also leaves and then it comes back. It's been orange roughy. That might be a good. It's uh, been buffalo be fish. It's been drink. another one that I don't remember. Maybe tilapia. Don't quote me on that though. <laughs> I accept that. Because they keep banning it because they overfish for McDonald's. Which McDonald's means... McDonald's is for sure the one spot that's going to overdo it. They're going to over... They, over yeah. they have their own potato, don't they? They do. Yeah. But which also What kind means, of place got their own potato? That's sick. It's a little dark. I don't know. It is a little dark. It's yeah. dark. But they got to do it, bro. I mean, I think people need to stop hating on Mickey D's, man. <laughs> I'm cool, <laughs> bro. I, you could be cool though. See, I don't mind being cool. Are you cool. eating a filet fish right now, Rich? I personally, but I ate a Big Mac today, so I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. <laughs> 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 and I had a slushy. McDonald's is fire to me. I don't care yeah. what nobody says. Oh my bro. god! That's but what also, I needed. I needed they that. serve a need. You feel me? Like they are out. quick and cheap. That's it. A crack need. They are crack. That's <laughs> crack. That's <laughs> all it is. They're literally the legalist. Crack They're not food. literally out here telling you like, hey, uh, try the, the Big Mac. It's the healthiest burger no, on the. <laughs> guess what? Their advertisement is like songs of just people eating the food. They don't yeah. say what food Come to on. eat. Yeah, yeah. The calories is on the board when yeah, you walk do. in McDonald's. They, let you know. they ain't. They ain't cap. Super nice. size yeah. me. Yeah. They tried to super size me. That's that's when they let go of the king size. Cause yeah. you remember they used to have the super size and they had like the the the, the big boy on me. So I'm glad you said that. Now we got to the best point <laughs> right here. Look, oh my God. <laughs> whoever they choose to make a documentary on is the most villainized. If that would have been called Burger King me, I, I hate what you're about to say. <laughs> it would have called Kareem. Jack in the Box me. They would have been that would have been the issue, right or wrong. People Burger King like, is kind of tight though. It is. Nah, Burger, <laughs> can I be real? The other Burger ones are, King are, are, are we Burger right. King's more cracked than McDonald's. You know, I'm gonna tell you why. What? Burger King, you can get a burger, chicken nuggets, fries, a cookie, and a drink for like four dollars and twenty eight cents. That is wrong. I will say that's when they dark. had chicken, ten chicken they nuggets money, for a dollar. How they make money, bro? Yeah. I don't know. A burger is what twenty cents. What mm -hmm. they giving us, bro? Who's Shit ain't us? that cheap. Don't say us. I'm, I'm for me, eating. I got for me, mm -mm. for you, know. thank for me. you, Rich. Yep, I still fuck with Del Taco. Del that? Taco fire, I bro. Fuck, I eat the I main burger Del. at every place. So look, like at Burger King, I'll eat what? the Whopper. That's it. Okay. And you know Hershey, they do that the and best. And a Hershey cream pie. Everybody got fire desserts. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. they do. Jack and the Box has some fire cheesecake. Has they do. They cookie. really do. A Carl Jr. cookie is good. Come on, man. So I'll do the Whopper at Burger King. I'll do the Famous Star. Okay. Ooh, you're classic. That's it. A good old the, famous star. The, the I only got one of those. Since I was like, hey. no Western bacon. Nah, that's the only mix up I'll do. The Western, <laughs> <That's gonna be laughs> froggy. The Western bacon is is a fire mix up. That's yeah. the one that I'll get into on the I other side. I loved that one when I was young, bro. Exactly. The McDonald's I only do the Big Mac, and okay. and you know I keep no it right. Quarter regular. pounder. Nah, no quarter pounder. The Big Mac is just perfect. You know they like uh, what did they they patent the middle bun, bro? That's revolutionary. It's like rich. I I strongly well, disagree. So in and out, <laughs> in and out fire. People got to stop hating on in and out, especially out of towners. Are you ready for mm. something on some IE shit? Bakers is better than in and out. Nah. I'm fighting that. I'm yeah, fighting that. I'll say it. I I'm, said it on the pod. Bakers I'm fighting is better that all the way. Uh, Bakers, the Papa Mill, the Papa Mill. They with fries a, is with better. A, than with, a, than with, a, with a with a little cherry little thing. Little the drink is out. better than in and out. The fries is what better than in and out The fries are better. The burger is not better. The fries are better. The burgers are always fresh. So is what? You had a better in and out burger? in and out is, yeah, I've had some crazy. Oh, see, I've never. I've gotten sick on in and out I've Honestly, never gotten the... sick on Baker's. I don't know. Wow. How about that? I've ate the, wow. I've, I've, I've ate the lazy in and out And you know what I'm talking about. Where it's a little 12, too. 12.30 a.m.? Yeah. I drunk. Yeah. See, it still worked for me, man. I Where ain't never had bad in and out. you're like, by 4.40, you're like, oh, Fuck. Like, God damn it. Like, you're on a... Um, yeah. We're going to leave that, that off the pile. Let's I don't even it. do those, bro. It's bad. Jeez. But I'm a real... in and outs good, but I just... I'm a baker's guy now. I, I accept it. I got to go back. Maybe because I, I don't... There's no bakers in LA, so I miss it. I don't like bean burrito and hamburger at the same spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's just some aesthetically that. wrong so you about that. the burger at Del Taco? I've never even had it. So hey, good. honestly, that's not a bad it's burger. I know people have been vouching for that shit for fucking a, a that's decade. That's one of the best burgers in the game. People will hate to hear it, but you, you know, know who put me on that? Uh, Jay Biz. Shout out. Jay out. Biz just put me on that. I was like, bro, you are lying. He's like, I'll buy you one. <laughs> have you had the hamburger at Del Taco? 
Yes. Yeah. I don't like that. Y'all like that sentence. That sentence like sounds that. weird. But you, like when it. you open your heart and your mind <laughs> and, you, and you get there, you realize, too close like, off, wow. You're too close off. You ain't tapped yeah. in, right? I got to do some thinking now, bro. Bro, I'm just going to get you one. <laughs> what is the, what's that going to do? <laughs> you going to eat it? <laughs> <laughs> They got I don't the know about that. lettuce with the grilled onion. It's fire. And that not that many people order it, so it's always fresh. They like look forward to making it. Like literally. All right, somebody really want a burger. All right, cool. Two Dell burgers. These are not selling points for me. <laughs> two two <laughs> Dell burgers. I respect y'all niggas though. <laughs> hey man, so what else you been on, Rude? Uh yeah, designing these collections, getting these out. So for fall and you know, a couple of things. I don't want to speak. exclusive? No, nothing exclusive. Okay. Yep. Been been working hard. Hardly hard working. <laughs> <laughs> been working hard doing our thing. Yeah. yeah you, you guys will see what's coming out. I love yeah. it. But I don't want to give it a date. I was a Smokers Club Festival. That shit was cracking. But Live Nation did have it a little shaky. I'm not going to lie. I go to a lot of Golden Voice productions. Mm. You know, like Coachella okay. Splash House. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, Coachella shout out Golden soon. Voice. Like Live Nation is a little bit, you know. Okay. It's a little bit murky waters, little, you know? A <laughs> little, little shaky, little Yeah, man. They ain't got it together all the way like that. I think they can. But I feel like... Golden like what Day, happened? It was just a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like in, a lot of people didn't perform on time. I was I was backstage. This is what I'm hearing. Okay, got But you. I'm I'm looking at it from my perspective, me doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, just yeah. like the hoop, hoop, loopholes that's... That's got to happen. I'm just like, all right. And then I start hearing like security guards come back. Like, this person only performed for five minutes. This only person only performed for 10 minutes. Ah, oh, shit. Know? Yeah, the festival bad. was lit. Gotcha. But Live Nation, like, didn't plan everything correctly. Come on, man. Yeah. Shout out my dog, Shipes. Shout out Shipes. Shipes, Bubs, and Dizza for actually making a festival that... That's fire. Fucking... I don't know how many people were there. It's literally like when we were standing on the 100K? side... No, nah, not 100K. Because Coachella got like... 200, 300. Yeah, so that'd be at least. I would say like 60. 60K? Yeah. That's a lot of people. That's it's crazy. A lot of That's a lot of people. Bro. It was a sea of people, basically. So shout out them for their brand being so tight and bringing all those artists with Live Nation. Y'all might got to make it two days, bro. You just try to squeeze everything in one day? Damn. One day is dark. Yeah. They the smoking grooves. They cut off Erica Badu's set. You can't do what? that. Yeah. Niggas you can't didn't do even that. talk about it. I'm going to talk See? about it. Niggas talking about shit. What? Yeah. It was real. And it was cracking, but nigga, I guess niggas was late. So they like Janae was like, okay, I can't be here long. Like hella people was like, you guys See? know what it is. That's sick. You know what it is. It needs to be like this, bro. People are paying 500 600 $900, bro. It needs to be like, boom, 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 boom. I had a great time. Two days. Now, like, I only came to see this person and I couldn't see him. You can't have that if a nigga drops 700 bro. No, that's nigga right. Nigga can go see somebody for $40 at the observatory. They wanted right. to come here and experience it, you know? Some hey. people literally still come there for one person. Yeah. For one group down yeah. there. And drop, nigga. You saw Key Glock. Oh, at the observatory. Oh, my how, God, how was bro. That, that post, shit was so post cracking. R.I.P. Dolph. R.I.P. my nigga Dolph, man. R.I.P. Dolph. Me and CJ pulled up to that show. Literally, it was more people than when him and Dolph performed on the uh, wow. Dumb and Dumber tour. Wow. And it was cracking. Super cracking. Observatory is one of my favorite venues because it's like the middle part kind of like goes down to where if yeah. you're, you're standing in the middle, you can see the show perfectly. Yeah. You know, and if you want to mosh in the front, you could do that too, you know. So I love the observatory. Been going there, touring there for ages. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, sure, and I love the backstage room because it's just open. Yep. And it's just like if you back there, you yeah, literally that motherfucker is huge. It's so big. That's yeah. the biggest backstage ever. That show is popping though. You know what I'm saying? Damn. I, I hope to see Key Glock next year at Coachella. I'm glad he's out here performing. Yeah, off top. That's that's Did a rough thing to go like through. Anything with the doll? Like... He literally played uh, like four songs back to back. Middle of set, just played doll songs. He played Hundred Shots. He played Get Paid. Damn. <laughs> he just he just smoked the backwoods and sipped a cup of lean and just vibed on this on the stage. Everybody in the crowd was just saying all the lyrics. It was, it was great, bro. Out of cry. That'd have been too much. Cause I'm over here getting like, damn. Yeah. It was mid set too. Like just stop stop performing his music and just play like four songs a dog. It's great. Get paid. Yeah. I was in there That's turned fine. up, nigga. Good I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was in that motherfucker. Dread swinging. Yeah, dress swinging, nigga. <laughs> I love so it. Tight, bro. I love it. Hey, man. Yeah. Bro. Hey. Splash House next month, so, you know. You pulling up? What's up? Possibly. Got a little collab to do with 
company at Splash can, House. Can I pull up? Can I, can I bring a little? I somebody? cannot confirm that oh, one. Okay. It's <laughs> one of them things. Okay. Okay. At least I didn't cap for the show. You didn't. You see, hell yeah, nigga, I yeah, got right? you. I got you. <laughs> nah. Guess what? I'm going to be there. Cannot confirm. How about that? Yeah. I ain't like that. I ain't going to be there. I'm Spe- there. Speak it into existence, brother. I'm there. I'm going to meet somebody. Yeah. Shout out Cuss Agency. That's Gopi's agency. Let's go. Hey. Gopi's got all the plugs in LA. Gopi's a great businessman. We got to have him on the pod. He's a big soon. visionary. He, he, he's down yeah. to come on the pod soon. We were yeah, going to have him. Let's do it. It's Let's just do it after all this shit. Get, bro, he's busy. Too- we can't. We probably gonna talk to Gobi in the fall. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> like mid winter, probably. Straight up. Yeah. He does a lot of things with a lot of companies, a lot of big companies. Microsoft, Golden LAFC. Voice, LAFC. You know, this is my dog who I threw the Wiz show with at the Glass House. Talk your shit. He's Wiz, the only Wiz, person that had the plug to this venue. Wiz's first was that Wiz's first show in California. I think so. Yeah. That's so crazy. Yep. That's legendary. Yeah. Hell yeah. Did Shout you out go to that show? I did not, man. I also missed a little B show, man. Those <laughs> that was two shows too. that I, I really show wanted too. to go to bad. I well, heard there was well, a Jesus. Right. Was there a Jesus there with bro? Maybe. I heard. That's the legend that I Great. heard. That okay. there was possibly. A Jesus. Possibly. Let's, let's, let's just be real right now. What? Before we do best and worst. What? What was what was a better show? Weird show or a little B show? The Which show? one was more cracking? The Wish Show was more cracking. Yeah, I think that's an easy call. Yeah. It was. That was Christian Orange's time, right? No, or was that right no. before? That, that was, was like, It was right that was before. Like, uh, okay, okay. How Fly yeah. era. Damn. Yeah. How Fly just dropped. Like Burn After Rolling. Yeah, Burn After Rolling. That's he, still big. Yeah. That's big. Because he came out to that $100 dream. Yeah, business. with that song. I love that song. Um, one of my beach house bitches. I think it's called Burn After Rolling. Yeah. 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 So gone, so so gone. Gone. Cause yeah. I burn after. Yeah, he came out to that cracking. Yeah. I would say, uh, I would say with, he did ta- he did he did uh eat my eat, whole eat body. My whole body, yep. Hell and yeah. he did bankroll. Oh yeah, that's yep. all big. Niggas don't that's all big ones. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Nigga! <laughs> Niggas don't know the Wiz. No Niggas slides, don't know. Bro. He did Bankroll Live, bro. Yeah. It's one of Wiz's That's best crazy. songs he ever did. Megan Thee Stallion made a twerk video to it. The Look one, it up. The one thing about people that I've noticed from when you're from out of state, when you come to California and you completely swag it out, I'll, I'll trust any show that you do. You know, because California yeah. and New York is like, nah, I don't fuck with you. Off top, they don't care who you are. But when you come out here and you immediately swag it out, hey, man. You could you could perform anywhere on earth, bro. Pretty much. Because we are the hardest judges of them all. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. It's a big fact. Mm-hmm. Hey, man. So, you already going to best and worst, man? Yes, I am. <clears throat> so, best and worst with Dream Hat. Okay, Richard Wright. I don't know if you've been here when we've done best and worst. Have not. Best and worst is a segment to where I give you a topic. And sometimes I give you choices. But you pick the best from that topic and the worst from that topic. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So this week's best and worst. I need it. Is best and worst movie comedy sequels. <laughs> Number twos only. <clears throat> best so and worst. Best and worst movie comedy sequels. Yes. Oh, I got good ones. Hold on. Already. The I got to think of my worst. I have the a worst best. One. I have a best. I'm trying to think about my worst. Mm-hmm. My worst. Like, so that means the first one had to be really good, and then the second one just bombed it. Or the second one could have just been trash, like, all together. Yeah, for the worst. Yeah. It had to just be trash Yeah, like, bro, why did y'all even make this? Got you. Uh, you want me fuck. to go? You want me Yeah, to go? you got to go. You got to go. I got to hear something. My best gonna, is like Rush Hour 2. I was going to say that for my best, too. Okay. For sure, because I, I just feel like equally as funny... Equally as watchable. It was them at their, you know, like both of their primes. Um, the cameos in there are great. Like Jeremy Piven, fucking. Yeah. <laughs> buttercream, buttercream, yeah. buttercream. Let's throw a dead animal. Don on Cheadle, you. bro, being a nigga yeah. that. Come bro, on. The cameos in that movie are outstanding, my nigga. Mushy, mushy. <laughs> mushy, mushy. <laughs> That's all he says in the, in the movie, okay? I feel you. He does. This is facts. Did I say comedy only? Or I said all movies, right? You said just all movies. Might be yeah. fair. No, you did say comedies. Okay. Okay, so comedies. Okay. That's in worst. Sequels. Am I worst? Yeah, what's your worst? Yeah. House Party 2. 
Come on, That's bro. a great worst. No. <laughs> wow. No, we're not doing this right now. Where's Kel? See, fucking little ass head, bro. No. I'm cool Fuck. off a of house party too. So I'm going to get bombarded on this right now. But house party one is, like you said, it's so good. I just don't like the second one. Okay. It's that type of thing. Is Space Jam a comedy? I'll give it yeah, to you. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. I got worse. <laughs> Come on, man. I can kind of get that. It's like a little bit. Come it's like on, Bill Murray's man. in there. It's like, you know. Yeah. Okay, all right. No, no, that ain't a comedy. Yeah, it's, it is. It's kind bro. of a reach, though. No, it's a comedy, but worse, man. That's Big Brian, man. Are you getting the second one? Come on, man. That shit cool. It was cool. <laughs> <laughs> Look at niggas already cussing me out. I mean, niggas already cussing me out, bro. Uh, Damn, best and worst. I want to say the worst might be that damn near that coming to America too. Oh, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it, Rich. I thought it three times and I didn't want to say it. Okay, fuck uh, it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I forgot about Are that Are we one. doing this? I can accept We're doing that. it. Okay. Yes, that's my worst too. Unanimous worst. I know it happens when niggas wait too long. Yeah. I, 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 I knew it from, I seen it from afar. 10 long. years too long. Yeah. If nah. they would have did it like 2010. It was longer than 10. They should have done it like 20 years ago. 2000? Yeah. Because the first one was like 80 something, right? Yeah. Yeah, they should have done so. it like, yeah, like 98. 98? <laughs> yeah, man, great. Yeah. And it hit yeah. right around that uh, Nutty Professor era. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? How do you feel about the clumps too? Because that was my, that was going to be my other I one. I kind of like it. It was okay. It's not it wasn't as good the worst. as the clumps one, though. It's not as good as Nutty Professor. Not as good, but not. Nutty Professor's a 10. It's a good out of sequel, 10. though. That's a good sequel. It's Is a good it? sequel. Not the worst. Man. It's yeah. not the worst yeah. for sure. Oh, what's the funniest part of number two? I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that shit in so damn long, nigga. I haven't seen that shit in like 15 years. That shit we can <laughs> shit, bro. That's What's a good question, though. Give me one highlight and I'll shut That's up. a great question <laughs> to diffuse that being number one. Honestly, I, I, I don't know. I really don't know either. <laughs> That's great. Any part with the family again? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he tried. The same arguments at the table, fart sounds and shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hercules, same yeah. jokes. Hercules, Hercules. So that's all right. So here we go. Man. Eddie, I love you. Before I say what I'm gonna say, you're a legend. You've done so much for comedy. I can never give your praises enough. Mm -hmm. Man, your sequel game. <laughs> I have to accept that, bro. You yeah. can't go. Beverly Hills Cop 2, 3. Yeah. I like Beverly Hills Cop 3 just because I like the, the... I like them all, kind of. I like them. He yeah. did it with that. Yeah. Okay, I like the aesthetic of them all. Yeah, I don't me really... too. Yeah, am, I, am I watching Beverly Hills Cop no, 2? No, I'm not. Okay. No. Like, are we I'm really not. watching? Let, I don't let's look. talk about it. Let no. me not say like. But we appreciate but yeah, I, there it. We you appreciate go. it. That's a better word. I appreciate it. Yeah. Bro. Because I ain't going to sit down and like just watch. Some I'm people not. you just want to like at a certain time. Like, you feel me? Like, Eddie yeah. was cool at that time. You just kind of want to like, bro. That's age, though, too. That's not really our, like, mm -hmm. we didn't grow We grew up on Eddie, but we grew up, like, by default because our parents. Like, yeah. Like, but, how, but how do you do that? You can't do that that many times, bro. You, as a comedian, it's, it's impossible. It is. It's impossible yeah. to have that, like, 10 Chappelle, funny movies. Does Dave Chappelle have a classic movie? No. Blue Street is a good movie, but... Not because it's Dave Chappelle. See, this is why Eddie's like... Half-baked. I'm tripping. That's the only one. Half-baked. It's very low budget. But I'll give it like... Half-baked is a classic, yeah. though. Gotta be. Here's, here's the best show of all time, though. Easily. Yes. Top top five? Comedy show? Yes. Yeah. Top one? No, one. I won't give it one. Comedy what's show? Better, what's a better comedy show than Chappelle show? That's difficult because and then, like... And then I'm gonna go back to my Even the Boondocks is a <laughs> comedy show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love Jamie Foxx's first season, bro. That's like... Better than Chappelle? No. But like you said, like I'm not just going to give Chappelle number one out the gate. But You got to think about it? Yeah. The okay. Boondocks is a comedy show. That's a very good comedy say show. I was going to say that. So very and the Boondocks is... One. That was going to be my number one. Mm -hmm. Boondocks. That's not a movie. The Boondocks is classic. Oh, you said movie. Sorry. Oh, no, no. Later on, I thought you I said shows. Because, no, you yeah. said the Dave Chappelle show. So yeah, then they turned to we shows. Yeah, we went in a wormhole. We went in a wormhole. My bad. Okay. So hey, back man. to it. It was movies. <laughs> Sorry. Best and worst. Was Best movies. and worst movies. Comedy okay. movies. Comedy movies. So. This nigga Big C hits you with the triggery. Best sequel comedy movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is Rush Hour 2. Okay. There's nothing better than that. 
It's, it's one. Of, it's the best. I respect that. Because I can't even tell you what's better, one or two. Sometimes you can argue it. That's how I feel. Yeah. Yeah. You can literally have a good that. argument. Yeah. The worst is coming to America too. <laughs> okay, cool. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because the hype from it fucked me up in L.A. The niggas was on every billboard, every fucking bus, every podcast, every comedian was like, it's gonna be the funniest shit. It's so great. And I bought into the Kool-Aid. And guess what? I had a little female over to the house, okay? You can pull up. I went to the cookie stores when I first kind of moved to LA. So I went straight to cookie. Oh, you spent some bread, eggs. huh? Bought a couple <laughs> eggs. So I, I spent the 250 I had like, had like 12 grams. Shit like that. Stupid. That sounds like a 250 day. Yeah. yeah, it was stupid. So we go there. <laughs> Then we order the Heralds. Okay. We read, so it's like, you All know, right. let's get the food. And then we eating, smoking, ready to laugh. We already watch like a stand up to warm up. We already laughing. We put coming to America on. Shelly falls asleep on my lap. Damn. And I'm not a weirdo. So go ahead, go to sleep. It's over. It happens. Damn. You rest. Sounds like it wasn't funny to me. It wasn't. So rest? Yeah. What about you, Rich? Um, for me, I'm gonna say coming to America too. Also, <laughs> is my worst. My one. best is a shocker, though. Probably it's Lion King one and a half. <laughs> yeah, it's a wild one. <laughs> that was the last thing on earth hey. I ever hey, expected I you to say. Hey, we're we're done, bro. I can't. He's a liking what? And, I'm sorry, Rich. You're not serious. Who the fuck I is am, in I'm that? I'm serious, yeah, bro. Yeah, what's the storyline? What's so, the plot? So let me tell you why it's genius, bro. Let me just explain why it's like one of the most genius movies of all time. Lion King one and a half is pretty much Lion King again, but from the perspective of Pomon and Tumba, of Pumba. Hmm. Timon so, and Pumba. Timon and Pumba. Yeah. So there, it's literally the entire movie again. Okay. But from their whole perspective. So, like, for instance, even, like, you remember when Rafiki was, like, doing karate on the mountain and shit, fighting yeah. them. Like, they, you you literally are seeing that, but from Timon's perspective. And he's like, damn, look at him up there, like, doing karate. Damn. Like, that shit's crazy. I probably didn't catch that when I was I young. Yeah. yeah, Loki flew over it's my head. It's a wild I almost want to apologize to you, but I haven't watched it yet. So I'm honestly, gonna I'm going to keep ride. it 100 with you. Most people have not seen it. But it when I even when I was young, I was like, bro, this is a wild-ass concept. Like, yeah, it is. Because to me, it's just ingenious. It's like, bro, how the fuck? A nigga just kind of like made bread off making the same movie, but from another <laughs> nigga perspective. Like, who's ever done that, bro? That's I mean, crazy. it's a lot of people that do that now, like, or with, like Star Wars and shit like that. You know, like the Obi-Wan yeah. and shit like that. They show like movies from hey, other perspectives. you watch perspectives. the Disney Plus shows? Like the... Yeah, like the little uh, Mandalorian and yeah, shit. Mandalorian, yeah, Mandalorian. Yeah, Fire. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Loki. Well, that's not, that's a Marvel. So they might yeah. be trailblazing with that, uh, that idea, that concept. Facts. That's Same a fact. Same shit, different, different perspective. Okay. Rich, you, you went somewhere with that. I'm not going to always swim I'm not up. giving you the pass, though, but, yeah, but I do respect I, it. I respect it. <laughs> I got to do my research. Yeah. It's a good movie, what man. About your, what about you? Oh, yeah, you said your worst story. Yeah. All right, cool. Yep, cool. So, yeah, man, that was, that was, that was, that was pretty good. That made us think. Yep. That was a good one, man. Mm-hmm. All right, man. So what final words we got for the way? Oh, gentlemen's only. Are you going to talk about the sin of the week? Oh, Givenchy, gentlemen only. Ahead, that's that's the summertime, spring. Very, uh, very robust and, like, bright, I would say. It's not something that you you should necessarily wear at night, like when you're going out with your shorty to to uh, like on a date. But it's very inviting, you know. Oh yeah. Not nothing mysterious about it though, oh, you know. Yeah. Mm. It's, a but it's a nice, scent. just a just a nice, good, clean scent, fresh. I like it. I like it. Cause you gotta have those. I like it. You know, it's like a better oh, yeah. version of Dolce <laughs> Blue, like blue. And it has like a leather, like kind of woody smell at the mm-hmm. end. At the very end. Yeah. yeah, has a very woody finish at the yeah. end, but it's clean. It's yeah. weird. It's a crazy blend. Yeah, so I'm gonna start wearing this. In it smells the like I took a shower in the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> and I like put it. A, and put on a fucking. And put on like a, a meat coat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it went outside in the Real snow. Nigga. Yep. Y'all been seeing me on my fragrances. You see my post the other day. You see my story. That shit my hey. shit set up. Hey. My shit got layers to Sarah it. Sarah posted your shit. I saw her. Yeah, okay, I know, bro. Yeah, she knows. You've been out like, here. We're going to have Sarah come on here, too. We're going to have a real fragrance off. I'm going to bring her shit. You're going to bring your top. She going to cheat, though, because she ain't got shit like that right now. I don't want to put your business out there, but she, it's already out there. 
Damn. It's already out there, my nigga. If you come out on this show with 15 plus shits, I know you went hella shopping that week. Damn. So I'm just, I'm just putting it out there, my nigga. Shots fired. Hey, Jeez. Sarah gonna drop the rack before coming on the show, real you fast. You still my nigga though. Don't get it, don't get it twisted. <laughs> we love you, Sarah. Are we coming to that the barbecue? She about to hit Norserman hot, quick. Yep. Neiman's. Yep. Fast. Barbecue. <laughs> Neiman's going to the back, start asking questions and shit. Yeah. Should do it, man. Remember the smoke me out this week, man. Let me get, let me get the, what y'all got in the bag. <laughs> Sarah, next episode, come on with the, come on with the sins. We're gonna put that together. No smoke involved, but you know, I'm just, all smoke. We're just, we just putting it out there. Reem said he want all smoke. Come on, I man. <laughs> <laughs> Reem said it. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga big serious shit. Hey, Rich, any final words for the people before we get about here? Um, my final words is um, smoke weed, love yourself. You feel me? Feel good, you know, and listen to me and the homies. Yep. I love Facts. it. Facts. New love new caches and rich probably coming out what the fall winter. Hey, 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 yeah, like fall winter. That's a good time. Yeah, that's a good time. The, it's a cold album. It's a chilly album. It's a cold player kind of album. Like yeah. you know what I mean. Real I love rap, it's a chilly all album. that. Like it's very very yeah. swagged out. Very fly. A lot of bars. For sure. For sure. A lot of a lot of swag. Something for like a circle, a, a spherical cube type thing. You know what I mean. Nice little. What would you say? Like a whiskey or brandy? With yeah. I would say yeah, a little. Like I would say like a, maybe maybe a whiskey scotch type there of vibe, you, you know, with with the square cube, little cylinder. That vibe. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's what we vibes. own. You feel me? That's vibes, man. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, any final words? UTB Life dot style. That's to tap in with everybody from the team. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of collabs coming this summer, and I'm just working, man. Can we? Can, are we talking about the Smokers Club shit yet? The, what? The, the bear. It should be coming out in fall. Fall. Cool. Yeah, but it's a pack. A package is a capsule. Oh, so shit. it's gonna be other stuff involved with it. Oh, so it's a whole thing. Yeah, these things can never just it's not so fall. <laughs> okay, fall. You see it. how long I've been talking about that? That's why I hate bringing shit up. I know, I'm like niggas, hey. like <laughs> nigga, Reem, bro, come on, man. You've been saying this for a little while. You know, it's a lot of moving parts, my nigga. This way, when you have when you handle real business. You just got to go with the flow sometimes because it's a lot of moving parts and you just got to, you know, just bring your side to the table. And then when every everything goes together, then it's time to get it shaking and baking. You feel yeah, me? It's looking at sliding. Yeah, you know, sometimes you might have an album. You might want to say you, you want to put it out in February and then it don't come out till, you know, uh, September because yeah, you got to do a whole bunch of other shit in between. Yeah. Nigga, hey, come I on, man. It. Hey now What about you? Hey. <laughs> uh, final word man Mr. Manager? Shit <laughs> Mr. Manager <laughs> Nah real shit man um, Realize I was gonna say my usual But not real This is what I've been on Realize your purpose Yeah And realize that you have to be a servant first Jesus washed his disciples feet And the man was the closest to God And they still murked him Damn It's deep So it deep. Jesus, Jesus was a good dude bro one of the flyest ever. And he just had he haters. Quarter had haters, but he kicked it with nothing but sneaking and geeking niggas, yeah. chillers. And, you know, we can go yeah. down the list. But he, they went down, he cooked, he kicked it with people that was the real people. Mm-hmm. And they still got him. But be yourself, though. So of your 10,000 hours, me and Rich both have 10,000 hours. Where do you say that you are in 10,000 hours? Say I'm at like 7,000. Respect that. I give you like 7,800. Yeah, almost <laughs> there. Like it's there. I've got another like three thousand left. Okay. But the three thousand that I have now is like double time than what I've ever had in my life. I feel you. Cause now I now I have more opportunities than I didn't. Mm-hmm. And with that said, shout out Knock Knock House LA hey. Studio. Mm-hmm. You know this is yeah. where we shoot it. That's where we look so good. Yes. Not just them though. Productive culture. Shout Go ahead, big C. Do the shit. You already know. Pop shout your out shit. productive culture. Hey. Pop your shit. If you need your podcast done, if you want it to look like this, we got the all the camera angles, whatever quality you need, mm. audio, visual. Go to productiveculture.com backslash podcast in the how did you hear about us section. Put Argoon Radio, Big Cali World. Put Reem told me. Put Richard Wright told me. Put Big Cali told me that we'll get the hookup. We'll be able to get the best and it'll be affordable and you'll get consultations. We're here to help people, but we're here also to help people. Hey. If you dig me. Hey, man. <laughs> you know? Come on, man. So come through productiveculture.com backslash podcast. All right? Yes. Also, for this podcast and Big Cali World, go to bigcaliworld.com. Follow the YouTube page. We need mm-hmm. a, come on. We need the subscribers. Oh, <laughs> like, yep. comment. You know, 
I'll argue with you in the comments. If you text me, I'm going to feel like you're harassing me. I'm going to be nervous. <laughs> How about that? Okay. Hit him if up you in hit the me comments. in the comments, I'm cool. I accept it. I respect All right? that. But um, yeah, man. Rich, I appreciate you coming on, man. Yeah, appreciate you, Honestly, man. Honestly, brother. Mm -hmm. This is a long time coming. We were definitely supposed to have this for a minute. Hell yeah. And uh, yeah, man. It's the man with the plan. I ain't Clark Kent, but some of the ladies do call me Superman. It's your boy, Big Cali. Stream half rare art goon. Rich or right, you know. This is our good radio, man. Peace. Yeah.